Now that is a big old pile of poo. Morning guys, welcome back. So today we are going to clean out part of one of our sheds, one of the cattle buildings. Um, a lot of the muck we got around the place is pretty well like slurry and it's not staying in the middle very well. So we're going to clean out one of the sheds, mix the muck in so, um, so hopefully it won't run out. I just picked up the dump trailer here. John's going to load me and I'm going to run it to and from the midden. I just picked it up and look, it's absolutely full of water. Pouring out. I'll open the back door and tip it up a minute. Uh, we don't want to put any more water in the uh, midden than we can help. The nice thing about having remote spools on the back of the tractor is you can press the button and open it without having to get in the tractor. So we can see exactly what's in the back. Oh, it's still, still pretty full, so we'll uh, tip the body up a minute, get rid of that. Obviously, it's always best to try and keep the trailers tipped up a bit. So the Fleming has its own stand, and there's one on the uh, Marshall there as well. Just keeps the bodies up so that the water runs out the back of them. And you don't end up with this because all it'll do is rust the floors. But uh, that's all tipped out. Put the tailboard down. We'll go and find John. I'm pretty sure he hates being filmed. Which is mainly why I film him. Just got a little bit in this corner left to clean out. And then he's opened up the gates to do the next one. Cows look quite happy. They've had their fresh food and they've got their water in there. So they're quite happy for a little while. So we're cleaning out this pen, one, to help with the slurry situation. And two, this pen had the first lot of cattle in it when we housed them to begin with. So it's got a fair bit more straw in it than the rest of the house. Um, and as you can see there, it's between a foot and 18 inches high. So we'll clean it out, bed up again, start again, and then um, keep them dry, keep them clean, keep them happy. You'll see these girls down here have stood a bit lower. That's because that pen wasn't used to start with, so that's only had those cows in, whereas this one's had the techno group in when they came in to start with. So in place waiting to get loaded. John's into the second pen now. Got a bit of tidying up to do around the edges but um we'll do that do that later on in a minute. Right onwards to the midden around here On my joystick here, I've got the back door on the trigger, so I press up on that one and then just pull the stick back till he clicks and he'll take himself up. The shed is tall enough that I can tip right up and drive out without having to worry about the um, trailer hitting the roof. Here comes John with this bucket full. So that's right up and then we just pull forward. Click the stick all the way forward and he'll float himself down. The trailer takes a little while to come down. And as I go around the corner, I uh, pull the trigger down to shut the back door because I can see it in my mirror. You hear the bang when it's closed. And then I can also change gears on the joystick as well, which is nice. So all on one hand. When it's down, just put it back into neutral. And then whilst John's down there pushing up the dung, I just back up past the shed. Because uh, I can't wait for him where he wants me to load, because I'll be in the way. It's the shed that we're loading out of. See where I've been sat, because there's dung on the floor from the sides. But John can't get in the shed if I sit there, so I have to wait. <clears throat> and then when he comes in the shed, I'll just pull forward. They put this new walkway in recently here. 
um, for people coming from the manor or from the labs down to the farm. It's just a bit safer than having to walk through the main part of the yard. Um, the only thing is it does make it a bit tighter for us getting in and out of the shed, but it's, um, it's still doable, so that's fine. So there's John. So we'll pull forward. To about there somewhere. And now we play the waiting game. Oh look, it's starting to rain. It's the uh, Devonshire weather for you. So there's the 6-6 uh, six, six that we were moving straw with in the last video. Not ideal that one being outside really. Normally that one lives in the midden overnight. Cows have developed this really annoying habit of chucking their silage out over the concrete trough. So the last thing we do before we go home is shovel it all back in when they've emptied their trough a bit. There's another reason why we don't double feed them because you have to fill them so much they chuck half of it out you might as well just feed them the next day. Untie it. Just changing your sheets for you girls. New bedding. They're ecstatic about it. Onwards. Onwards. So in true Devonshire style, it's raining and sunny. Because, I don't know, it just makes sense, I suppose. Now, do I risk putting my camera on the trailer to tip a load? No. Not keen. So, as you can see, we're pretty well done with these two pens. Um, we're going to drive these cows out and clean out their pen as well, because although there's not as much dung in there, if we want to clean that one out at a later date, we've got to come through this one. So, we might as well clean it out whilst we've got the time and the space to do it. So, I'm going to drive these cows out onto the passageway, um, so that when John's taking this dung away here, we can take the gates down. Well, that took six minutes longer than it should have, but we are all out here now. We had to run them out up to the handling and back. We're in there. This is the deep end. This is the deep end. Diving allowed. Heavy petting. Heavy petting. <laughs> I don't know what you get up to in a swimming pool. <laughs> It up. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a telly angler, there's a way. Oh, yes. Hello. Ah. Moon, Moon Valley. Got a present for Mel. I think it's the fluke for the uh, cows. We'll do that one day soon. I have a present for you, Mel. She was overcome with joy. I've decided I can't move any of these gates because they're still buried in muck, so I'll have to wait for John to take a bit more muck away. So, we're on the last little bit. There's probably one more trailer full after this one and then we just got to bed it all up again um, we have got some hydrated lime whether we'll put some of that in the bottom we'll get rid of this trailer full and then we're nearly there see John's done a pretty good job here pushing all this up all up one side of the shed we're free now to tip in this back corner so this all was pretty wet sludgy slurry stuff 
beforehand and sort of as we've been tipping it uh, John's been mixing it in and there be light that's better now we can see right John's got one bucket full left the two or three bells that we got in the stack next are um, they were on the top of the lorry when they were delivered and they got wet so they're a bit clatty so. they'll go right through the chopper and it's just a case of putting the gates back up letting the cows back in so we're finished with the trailer and drop that one off down the bottom John's going to spread some lime on the floor just to help dry it up and uh, we'll get to putting some straw in there so John's just bedding up chucked a load of lime in the pens shut all the cows back we're just going over there back with the straw now. Got another bale there in the handler waiting. And, uh, they want a fair bit there. So he's thrown a load to the back of the pen. He'll come back in a minute and throw a load on the floor in the front. the last of the straw in the front of the houses. Cattle are happy, they'll be dry, warm and clean. So thanks for watching guys, if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber then please do give out hitting the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you're notified when my videos go up. We'll see you on another video very soon. Cheers guys!